Hi, my lovely kindergartners. Welcome back once again to Math Lab. So we've been learning about addition strategies, strategies we can use to solve addition problems. In our previous lesson, we learned how we can use the number line to solve addition problems. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the counting on strategy to solve addition problems. And so before we go into it, we were going to play a game. And we have a special guest who's here to play this game with us. Adam, welcome. Thank you. All right, so Adam is going to help us play this game, okay? So let's look at these cards. I have two cards in my hands. And we're going to count how many dots we have on all the cards together. We have, count with me, Adam. One, One two, two, three, three four, five. five six seven so all together we have seven dots on the cards right hmm is there a way to know how many dots an easier way to know how many dots let's see with these two cards which one has a higher number of dots is right here and let's see how many dots is that one, one two, two three, three. Four. Oh. So, four dots. Let's keep that in our heads. How many dots? Four. Four. So we're going to count on. That means we're not going to start from one anymore. We've taken the whole of this number of dots, which is four, and it's in our heads. Don't forget, Adam. What number is in our head? Four. Four. So we're counting on from four. So we have four, five, five six. six Seven. So all together we have seven dots. All right. So we have four. We kept that four in our heads. Four. Then we continue. Five, Five six, six, seven. seven. Good job. Let's try another set of numbers. Okay. All right. So we have. Hmm. Let's see. We have how many dots in all? Let's see. One, One two, two, three dots. Right? All together we have three dots. One card has two dots. The other card has one dot. All together when we count it, we have three dots. Is there a way we can do this faster? Can we use the counting on strategy? Yes. So which number? is higher or which card has more dots this card and how many dots is that two. two so we are going to put that two in our heads and we are going to count on from the two so we have two, two three. three so all together we have three dots we kept the two in our heads and we counted on and we had one more so let's try one more strategy Let's try one more example, okay? Let's take um, another group of cards and let's see. Let's try first group of cards and we're going to count together, okay? Adam, you ready? Yes. Okay, so let's count together. One, one two, two, three, three four, four. Five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. How many all together? Adam? Eight. All right. So now we want to see which of these cards has more dots. This card has more dots. How many dots does it have? Let's count it. One, One two, two, three, three four, five. five Six, seven. Seven dots all together. We're going to put that in our heads because it's the bigger number. It has more dots. So we put the seven in our head. What number are we putting in our head? Seven. So seven. And then we count on from seven. Seven. Eight. eight. So how many all together? We have eight. eight seven eight so all together we have eight, eight dots all right so now you're going to practice okay 
So I'm going to give you some numbers. What I need you to do with these numbers is to make dots, okay? So for example, your first number is going to be one. You write one on a card, you make a dot, one. Your next number is going to be seven. You make seven dots. Next number is going to be eight. You make eight dots. Adam is ready. Next number is going to be six. You make six dots. And the last number will be five. You make five dots. Now, you are going to give me what these numbers will give you. Okay. Have five and one. And use the counting on to solve how many you have in all. Use seven and eight and use the counting on Adam to see how many you have in all. Then use six and eight. That's a challenge, right? And tell me how many dots you have in all using the counting on. All right, I'll come back to you soon. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Bye for now.